Hello and welcome to the wonderful world of the banjo minnow. There's a banjo minnow for every situation. You have a 6 inch, a 5 inch, and a 3 inch banjo minnow. You have different types of eyes, you have different colored eyes. You have metal eyes for the, to make the minnow go a little bit lower. You have plastic eyes to keep it a little bit higher. And you have different styles. You have ones that are really sparkly. You have ones that have little flecks of sparkle in them. You have ones that don't have any sparkle, just standard looking minnows. This one actually glows in the dark and there's just a minnow for every situation. Um, the hooks, you have different size hooks, you have standard hooks like this one. You have thicker hooks called the Elsinko hooks. And you have weed guards that look like braces, rubber bands. Um, now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you how to add the eyes to the banjo minnow. We're going to use this guy, alright? And as you can see, the minnow has a hole that goes all the way through the eye right there. And there's a little hole that's in the nose, right there. There's a hole. It's a hole right there. And that's where this is going to come out. So all you have to do is go in the side and feel so you find the opening in the front just push it in and then all you gotta do is just go pop and the eyes are in these are the nice red fire eyes and the eyes are in now I'm going to show you how to put the hook in the eye the eye has a little slit there you can see the slit is pretty even then it has a little bubble on the end that little bubble on the end is to help with the barb now what you do is you just take it you just put the tip in and just pop it just put it in just like that All right. and then to get it out it's real simple you just push it back so the barb goes in the hole and you just pull it out just like that now to show you in real situation here with the banjo minnow, what you want to do is you want to go from the bottom up. So you can just put it in, just pop it in, just that easy. And it's in right there, ready to go. And to get it out, you can pull it back if you want. And all you have to do is just put it back so the barb, you want to push it back so it slides it back and the barb can just go right through that hole and it comes right out. All right, now for the Elsinko hook, what you want to do is you can leave the, the eyes in. You, don't, you won't need the eyes for this because you really don't need the weight. The Elsinko hook does that. For the Elsinko, you want to go right under this fin, right behind this fin, and just push the Elsinko right through, just like that. And when you fish with it, it's going to give you that dead, dying fish look as it goes. You know, it's going to be just dead. And you just put your line right through there and you're all set. Now, to get it out, you just pull it right back out and we're all set there. Now I want to show you how to use the weed guard. The weed guard is simple. For the weed guard, you take the little rubber band here, put it between your two fingers, just like that. And you're going to take it, and on the hook, on the end, I don't know if you can see that, but on the end, there's a little gap right there. There's a little gap so you can get that to stick in the end. So you're just gonna put it up in you're gonna put it up in there, put it on the barb, and you have it on. And that way when the fish comes and gets it, you can just pop it right down and pull it off. And to get it off, you just pull back, slide down, and it's off. Now, to show you on the banjo minnow, you're just gonna Put your hook on. You're gonna take your rubber band. There's different ways of doing this. They teach you a slightly different way. My rubber band just got stuck together. It's getting old. The kit comes with a ton of these. The kit's really good. I really recommend buying this. Oh, rubber band broke. It's okay though. We have more. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend buying the banjo minnow set. I wouldn't buy it from their website 
because it's cheaper to get it from Bass Pro. So I would just go to BassPro.com, buy it online. And yeah, just put it either on the barber or in the hole first. Doesn't matter as long as you get it on both. And there you go. You have everything you need right there for fishing. This is weedless now. I'll just go right over the weeds. And I hope you all subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm hoping to get out and fish soon. I can show you the different techniques of catching the big ones. Alright, thank you all for watching and I hope you all have a really good time. Happy fishing.